Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Right off the bat on today's show, BMW showing off the brand new top of the tree M3. Step up from the M3. This is the M3 CS. Much the same as the M3, it comes with a 3-liter twin turbocharged straight six. This one making 453 horsepower and 443 pounds feet of torque. That is shipped through a seven-speed dual clutch transmission rear wheel drive only and bmw's work their magic throughout this machine not only does it's got m3 cs badging inside and out along with some bespoke parts to make this thing truly special as it is a limited edition machine and don't think that they haven't thought about the pounds that this vehicle actually weighs as well as they did a lot of work towards that using a lot of carbon fiber reinforced plastics and carbon fiber pieces as well along with some other trickery up their sleeves to allow this vehicle to lose 110 pounds of weight. Of course it's got an active suspension with all the driver modes that you were hoping for along with an M dynamic mode because you know when you have a vehicle like this you got to have some sort of mode where you can drift the machine, or as BMW calls it, mild drifts in this particular machine. All of this goodness wrapped up means 0-60 to 60 sprints only last 3.7 seconds at a top speed of 174 miles an hour. They're only going to build 1,200 units of this vehicle for the world. Only 550 of them are coming stateside. No pricing has been released as of yet or how you can get your crappy little mitts on that, but we'll guarantee that we'll keep you in tune once we hear more. Next up on the list, well, what if MIT, one of the greatest schools on the planet, and Lamborghini got together and they made a love child? It's this particular machine. This is the Tensu Milamino concept. And this is a pretty trick piece of kit, an EV supercar from of all companies Lamborghini. Now, this particular vehicle is pretty trick. Four hub motors are what powers this machine, one for each corner of the vehicle. Along with, instead of lithium-ion batteries, they're using supercapacitors. Now, the trick with supercapacitors, they don't have the power density or the longevity that a lithium-ion battery would have. So what they have done using some nanomaterials covering every carbon fiber piece on this body, it allows the entire vehicle as a whole to act as one giant battery to power this particular machine. Now the trick is there's no performance numbers at least as of yet or what this vehicle could actually become if it could become a next generation Lamborghini. There is an interesting thing and something that I really think that EVs need. If you watch an older movie from years ago where they were trying to get the power and the vibrations right for EV cars moving into the future. I can't remember what the name of that film was. But I think that's really what some of these cars need to bring in the Hot Rod Faithfuls. And that's one thing Lamborghini is working on. They're working on a sound for this machine that's going to rival that normally aspirated V12, just like in the Aventador. Well, definitely keep me in tune if Lamborghini's got any real plans for this machine, or maybe even MIT for that. Next up on the list, well, we've talked long and hard about the Corvette Z06, but if you've watched the old interwebs over the past several weeks and months and even years, you've probably seen a heavily camouflaged heavily modified Z06 wandering all over some of the nations and the world's greatest Grand Prix circuits. Massive rear wing on this vehicle, huge front splitter. It looks like a vehicle that is really track tested. Well, just the day of the taping of this particular program, General Motors and Corvette have released a small video. If you want to check it out, it's on the Facebook page as we speak showing off a date and some of the parts and pieces that are around this machine. This vehicle, what they're calling the ZR1, or that's what a lot of people are thinking is going to be the next iteration in the Corvette family. ZR1 could debut, or well, something is going to debut from Corvette, in Dubai on November 12th, which is just a handful of days away, so... We're definitely going to know a whole lot more, hopefully coming very, very soon, with hopefully a big U.S. launch coming up at the L.A. Motor Show. 
Last up on the list, interesting little story involving NASCAR champion, NASCAR racer, and all-around wheel man, Mike Skinner. Mike Skinner, if you haven't seen this guy drive, definitely check him out in a Craftsman truck heading up the Goodwood Festival of Speed Hill. Boy, that guy sure does know how to wheel some machines. But he did a little side work over the past year where he was the American on the hit Amazon Prime show known as the Grand Tour. You know, Jeremy Clarkson, James May, and Richard Hammond. Well, the day before the taping of this particular program, Mr. Skinner went to Twitter and said that he will no longer be affiliated with the Grand Tour and Amazon heading into the future as he wasn't happy with the writing and the way his character was supposed to evolve. If you've seen the first season of the Grand Tour, Skinner kind of plays this backwoods, redneck, NASCAR-loving American who doesn't really care about anything else. Now I always thought that it was kind of a hit, well, not only to Americans, but definitely a hit to the show. It just really kind of drug it flat. Even as much as I like Mike Skinner, you didn't get to see the real Mike Skinner, which I thought would have been way more entertaining to actually watch. So, sad to see Mr. Skinner actually leave the program, and leave the whole inside of the program as well. It's only got, what, a little over a month away before this program reaches Amazon Prime viewers, so... Be interesting to see what they put in its place, or if they put anything, or if maybe the hunt will be on for its next Stig Light. I don't know what else you want to call it. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. Links down in the show notes. Also, if you like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.